Hello, hackers. I'm Zardas. This is Poem College. And today we're going to talk about cybersecurity ethics. All right. We, in the previous uh, video, we talked about the hacking team hack, right? This is a technically fascinating hack carried out by an individual that felt that they were ethically justified but it caused real harm to real people in terms of lost jobs, et cetera, et cetera. And it's a very complex issue, right? Hacking in general has a lot of ethical uh, issues that, that, that surround it pretty heavily in a similar way that the, I don't know, there are significant ethical issues surrounding Batman, right? So if we ask Phineas Fisher what her ethics are, they are fairly clear, right? And she writes about them in her write-up about the hacking team hack. And you can kind of see them in, in even this first paragraph, right? She attacked hacking team uh, and, and is writing this write-up because even though there are other hackers she says, in her words, they've kind of gone over to the dark side and are working for the man instead of hacking to make the world, in her eyes, a better place, right? And this is a common uh, view posed by hacktivists, people that hack for activism. Um, it uh, actually has a lot of parallels with, you know, people that uh, throw soup on famous statues for uh, activism purposes and so on. And it's a complex issue. Um, there is no single right answer that I can give you. I can give you a set of ground rules that I hope you'll follow, especially uh, in your education, but in general as well. All right. First rule here. Don't do anything illegal. On this platform, you will learn cybersecurity, offensive cybersecurity techniques. We're teaching you this so that you understand the defensive half of it. And we're teaching you this so that you learn the fundamentals as much as you can. Right. This means that with great power comes great responsibility. So never, ever, 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 Hack a system that you weren't explicitly given the permission to hack, right? Believe it or not, people will explicitly give you permission to hack their system. For example, I explicitly give you the permission to hack the challenges in phone college. I even explicitly give you the permission to find vulnerabilities in the phone college infrastructure. But please disclose them to, be, to us. We have a bug bounty program. Read on the website. Um... If you don't have permission to audit uh, a system or a software or something, for now, don't do it, right? When you have more knowledge, more skill, and more understanding, there are, uh, depending on where you live and so on, protections for carrying out security research on for example, software that by the license of that software, you're not allowed to analyze for security. However, be on the safe side for now, just focus on the challenges in phone college. All right. How will you practice later? Well, you can run your own server, install your own uh, uh, instances of the software that you want to analyze for security and practice against yourself. Shockingly, there are plenty of uh, companies out there that run bug bounty programs that say, yes, hack us, but tell us immediately. We'll pay you for it. If you tell Apple, um, if you get a, uh, <laughs> a, a zero click uh, vulnerability that will allow you to, through sending a text message, exploit someone's iPhone 
and gain persistence and be able to run code on their machine and or on their on their phone and spy on them, Apple will pay you insane amounts of money, right? And they'll be happy about it, right? So there are companies that give you explicit permission, which we'll talk about at the end of the uh, course. You can be an academic. You have some limited additional protections for doing security research or and this is my personal recommendation become part of the competitive hacking community which makes hacking challenges for each other similar to what you see in phone calls um, the bottom line be careful about ethics it's very easy well this is funny because let's move me out of the way boom be careful about ethics it's very easy to uh step over a line in cybersecurity and the consequences can be pretty bad. All right, with that in mind, let's move on.